see, to start with, I have to confess that uh, I was a very bad student in school. I failed twice in 10th standard, I failed twice in intermediate, and I failed twice in engineering. So I think uh, it's very ironical that we are talking about RGB school. Though it's called unschool, the intention is to be school. See, right from the beginning of my career, for some reason, I never said that it is a media which invented this world, RGB school. And they kept on saying, this film looks like RGB school, or the director is from RGB school, or, or things like that, as RGB school, and I'm shot this thing. I never ever really thought, <laughs> I mean, filmmaking can be taught, you know, because uh, it is an expression of the person, how he wants to tell the story. So the idea for me here is, when I never ever had anything, and uh, many, the, many other directors like that, so what they are thinking from inside, an expression which converts into the various forms of uh, cinematic art, whether it is camera work or music or whatever it is, you know. And when I met film institute students from all over the place, and not many one particular institute, I felt that just following very old classical patterns of uh, teaching, they uh, expect them to understand very old time directors, uh, I mean, like Battleship, Potemkin. I'm not demeaning them. Of course, they were great films at the time. But I don't think cinema today is about what it was intended when it started. <coughs> there's a lot of comments involved, there's a lot of uh, people's expectations, a lot of people's expectations for various reasons. You know, so I think today it's a professional school, of course. It's not more, no more a passion, I mean, just passion about an art. It's not that. So I think it's equally important to understand what made the blockbuster work. That doesn't mean one school is going to teach how to make a blockbuster. But I think it's important to analyze it. It's important to I mean, uh, kind of dissect it and make this students understand what do they want to do. Do they want to become uh, uh, an Eisenstein or do they want to become Rajmol? <coughs> How do they want to learn from Citizen Kane? How do they want to learn from PK, for example? So I think unschool will be very radical. It will be exactly doing the opposite of what uh, conventional film institutes uh, will be doing. You know? And that precisely comes from my thought process of not me wanting to teach or the unschool. I mean, uh, wants you to teach otherwise. When uh, Shweta used this word to make them unlearn, like instinctively people have something and then traditionally people try to make people understand something else. What you are thinking is wrong, you should think like this. You know, that is what schools do, that's what institutes do. But the unschool's point is to somehow make the students understand what their thinking is, right? And to only be able to tell them or guide them or steer them. Or to, uh, I mean, steer them in a certain direction of uh, what they themselves want to go instead of trying to push them or making a way for them is the simplest uh, explanation I can give for the objectives of the unschool. And why it is called unschool is also for a reason because when we are using the word it will make people unlearn what it is about. Then uh, it obviously means it's unschool on another way. I'll share a uh, small anecdote when in, in Shiva, when I, I broke many rules, you know, I didn't know even left and right of camera sometimes when I was uh, directing my debut film. So even my technicians used to tell Nagarjuna and everyone that uh, he doesn't even know left and right how can he direct and he doesn't know the basics or fundamentals of uh, making, you know. And after the film work, they said that's new age 
they said there's new age technique. You know? Now, why did they break the rules? Actually, I didn't break the rules. I didn't know the rules. So when I didn't know the rules, I just followed my heart and how I want it. You know? And that became uh, whatever it became. You know? So similarly, I think any story or any given thing, different, different filmmakers are going to treat it differently and their sensibilities will be different and their uh, way of wanting to capture will be different, the taste in music will be different. So the idea is to make them discover a filmmaker in themselves rather than trying to push a filmmaker into them. Any of the great filmmakers, when you're in, when you're inspired or impressed or whatever uh, one thinks, you can be impressed, influenced, but you can also be impressed by a very unknown director. Not necessarily what the institutes have determined as these are great directors. These are because they got awards or they got something. You can be inspired from a short film, who nobody knows who made it. You know? So you're taking in things from whatever influenced you and impressed you and uh, you are trying to assimilate and absorb that. So unschool will develop a process of doing it and system, systemize it, like what she said, you know, systemize and channelize a very radical and a very anarchic kind of thinking, you know, without having any rules and uh, any kind of a disciplinary functions, for example, you know. So because of my reputation, if I am starting a school, you know, I am first of all a rowdy, you know, someone called me a celluloid terrorist. <laughs> it's true, I don't know, it's true. But I, I hope and I intend to the unschooled to make, uh, I mean, very, very individualistic. You know, when a lot of people say, only after RGV came, Asim Director started uh, sitting with them. And the Kalmi and Kalde school you know, they develop an attitude and you know, arrogance and all that, you know. No, because I am attracting people who have an individual attitude. I hate that very slave-like culture which normally uh, people have, you know. So my, uh, again coming back to this, when there are so many institutes, why start another institute, institute if anyone asks that question? Precisely, I think the very title of the institute and also the four lines which is written in terms of uh, professing its objectives itself will tell this is going to be a, unlike anything anyone has uh, seen or experienced. And uh, in terms of content generation or whatever it is, I think it will uh, have methods which have never been heard of. All those details will be given in about 20 days in a website which will be uh, put up at a certain time, you know. And how the process will start and where it will be and all those details will come at a later stage. But this press meet is uh, primarily intended for people to know about the idea and we are inviting people to apply on what kind of a uh, I mean, criteria we require for people to apply and what will be the selection process based on what what needs to be so we're trying to gather these applicants so that we zero in on who in a sensibility who in a psychological pattern whatever the unschool is looking for you know we want to choose the students what who we want to uh, be a part of the unschool based on a certain examination you know, and that is what the principal idea of this particular press meet is. So, any questions? Mini craft, char craft, you may have. Yeah. Yes. You see, I feel the main principal crafts in high school will be active, directing, some music, cinematography, editing, sound design. You know, any of the parts where you require a certain individualistic uh, I mean, approach and a point of view, how you want to use them as storytelling elements. All that will be a part of the unschooling. Uh, it might happen in a later stage, not in the initial uh, courses. Because I feel writing, I feel writing for me is a point of the thing, I mean, the filmmaker himself should write. I somehow feel 
writers should not be separate. Especially when they call a cinema is a, I mean, it's a visual medium. And the sound and picture has to go together. And if the person who's writing cannot imagine the picture, I'm fundamentally of this uh, 